What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today, I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of a mail call, kind of showing you some stuff that came in within the last few days and let you know kind of a sneak peek, I guess you could say, of what is coming up on the channel. All right, so first and foremost, I picked up this item. It is going to be a pry bar from Wii. I didn't expect <laughs> that foam pad to fall out. Comes with the usual stickers and swag that you see here in the box. <clears throat> the reason behind this though is because I just wanted something a little bit more budget. So this one's around the $50 price point. What I plan to do is I'm going to strip away the stone wash and I'm going to do some anodizing. I haven't quite figured out the color yet. I'm kind of hoping the bolt that secures the pocket clip in is also titanium. But that is kind of a project pry bar that I wanted to do and then hopefully mix into the rotation and give some feedback for those of you that are interested in that particular item. I will leave this stuff linked best I can below in case you're interested in the product themselves. Let's go ahead and move it along. This is not going to be a super, super long video. Um, next up, I just want to give a shout out to Dave over on Satu Dave, both YouTube and Instagram. He reached out to me because he acquired some what I think are budget knives, and he can correct me down in the comments. Um, but I think they're kind of budget for him, especially considering the type of knives that he usually carries. And I really appreciate him reaching out and offering. Um, I think he was going to send me all of them, and I picked three. Um, and I honestly, I feel bad picking three because I don't like to take things out of the rotation. But as I get to know Dave a little bit better, I don't think these are anything that would probably make it into his regular rotation. I think he may have been just interested in checking them out. Um, so I'll go ahead and bring him out here. The first one is going to be the Tucson TS-316. Not all of them have the labels. So when I get to doing their individual reviews, I will have a... Um, full comprehensive breakdown model all the information that comes with it i think this is just lint no i think it might have been a little bit of oil not 100 percent sure there so this one here is a titanium liner lock warren cliff 14c 28n and it has a little bit of anodizing on it so he kind of told me i could do whatever i want to do but honestly i'm going to think about what I'd like to do and just kind of consult with him and make sure, I mean, I wouldn't do anything to heavily mod these knives. It'd mostly be if I'm interested in doing like an Anno, you know, he told me to carry cut, um, do what I, what I would like with these, but I just want to reach out to him and talk to him a little bit about it. So that's the first of the three knives that he sent over to me. The next one, it was, this one's a little bit thinner than I thought. This one also is a Tucson. This one here has really interesting milling on the frame. It has a carbon fiber inlay. It is a very thin knife, a lot thinner than I thought it was gonna be. Very low profile flipper tab. And uh, it's a little light on the detent. So I may talk to him and see if I can try to uh, tune the detent on this. So maybe I can get a video out of tuning a frame lock detent. Um, this one has the bolsters on it, but it's an exposed frame lock because I feel like when you go to use this left-handed, yeah. So with the thumb, thumb, the thumb, the thumb sitting on it, yeah, you get a little bit of resistance on that lock bar. But it has a very interesting Persian blade, a little spoon here for your thumb to go on to. This one, S90V, this is, a, this is a very nice steel if it's done well. It looks like flat grind. It's a flat grind out through the tip with a nice wedge. Big old knife though. Um, I can kind of see why he picked it up and why he wanted to check it out. So this one here, I don't know that I would, hmm, I don't think I would do any mods to this one. This one's pretty clean looking as is with the carbon fiber and it would be, I'd have to see if I could get the inlay out safely. And then, you know, for an anode to look good on this, you'd have to put in some work on this. So this might be more, if he wouldn't mind, if I could try to like just do a little deep, a little detent tune on it to maybe make it a little bit heavier without sacrificing too much of the action there because it's kind of smooth. 
So hopefully that'll be interesting on a video coming up. The last one was definitely one that was also very interesting. This is a Tucson with a button lock. Oops. M390 blade steel titanium. Really interesting design language here. Got some speed holes with some milling. Really cool backspacer on it. And uh, I guess with those speed holes, oh no, it is milled to the gill on the inside too. It does feel very light. So one thing on this one, um, and I'll talk to him about it, it has got some serious lock stick. So I'd like to just, you know, do a video where I kind of break it down because it looks like it's gummed up. And um, I might try to clean it first. Look at me trying to hit the frame lock. <laughs> I might just try to clean it first and um, see how it responds to that. Actually, let me see if I can get some of the gumming out. So just real quick, I took a quick wipe across the knife um, and you can kind of see there. I'm not sure what might have gotten on it or what it was being used for, but I'll just check with him just to be sure because I know he said carry, cut with, do as I please. Uh, but I just want to make sure, since I am not the owner, that that is cool. And if they're still, you know, if it's still sticking a good amount after a nice cleaning, a better cleaning than this, this is just real quick to see if it does anything. It's still a little heavy. It's better. It's definitely better. Can't quite get in there with that. I'd need a Q-tip. Um, it's definitely better, but if if it's, yeah, it's definitely better. If it's okay with him, <laughs> I will see if he doesn't mind if I break this one down. Um, this one here, I have a feeling that the bolts are steel. Yeah. The bolts are steel. Pivot collar is titanium. The hell does that say? Tucson, <laughs> China. Well then, proud of that manufacturing. Uh, pocket clip, titanium, but the bolts are steel. You know, it might still look okay with a custom anno job. I just have to see if he's okay with me polishing it down. Um, these types of finishes, the colors don't come out very vibrant with an anno job. You really want uh, to put in the work to polish it up. Otherwise, they just kind of come out flat and dull. And I think this is a factory anno, just looking at it. But they're not quite as vibrant, and I don't have anything here to demonstrate that. But these will all be coming up on the channels, potentially some of those for some projects. I want to keep that moving along. This is how I know that my phone listens to me because I was on Amazon not even looking for anything Tucson related when this came up as something that was recommended. I don't know if y'all get that when you go in the app or online. You know, the phone listens. Here's you mention something, throw something in a recommendation or cross references the brand based off of a search that you may have done in the past. But I have this <laughs> titanium bolt action pin which is already very interesting because it almost has like a hydraulic release so it's quiet in operation so this one will potentially i didn't mean to bump that i am all over the place hold on potentially um this one being that it's mine it's definitely 100 percent going to end up with some anno work because i did my titanium refined pen. I loved the way that one came. I did a brighter blue on that one. And then I did my tactile turn in a darker blue blurple type color with uh, some bronze hardware since it's all titanium and that came out really nice. So I'm just testing colors and I use pens all the time to take notes. So I was like, you know what, for 50 bucks, that's worth a grab to check out. All right, last thing for mail call today is going to be a pre-order knife that I picked up from Tempest Knives. If you're familiar with KC on Knives Fast, this is his knife and whoo, my sticker. <laughs> I don't know if I did that or it came like that. I didn't pick it up on the first time, but um, this is his second release for this knife. I don't know if it's exactly the same as the premium Tempest that he did, 
but I believe Kubi is the manufacturer for this knife. And I was really interested to check out a Kubi because I don't think I've done Kubi. I've checked out QSP and um, Best Tech, but I have not checked out a uh, Kubi design. So this one's a very interesting design. This is uh, admittedly not really my first pick for style, but I really like KC and I wanted to support him and I wanted the opportunity to check out what Kubi's manufacturing price would be like. I believe the buzz is coming out from um, Devo Knives. I think that also is a Kubi. But uh, this is pretty interesting right out of the box. Build looks pretty nice. It is definitely a smooth G10. Wire pocket clips are not really my thing. I know a lot of reviewers like those wire pocket clips. They're, they're definitely not for me. But the nice thing is you can pick up the Lynch Northwest. It'll go into this fitting and it'll give you like the traditional looking pocket clip. But, you know, I can understand the appeal to that. This is a very interesting knife, and uh, this, this is definitely one that will be getting a full review and breakdown after I have the opportunity to carry it, use it, handle it, and get my thoughts and impressions together. It has 14C28N. It has a very nice looking stone wash on it. It definitely looks very beat. The stone wash on it, very beat looking. Um, but so we have the tempest knives we have the knives from sat to dave that'll be coming up on the channel definitely all of them will get reviews i think it'd be worthwhile reviewing them you know i like to carry the knife and use the knife and handle the knife so they're not going to be rapid fire so this is a huge sneak peek of what will be coming up on the channel so you can be on the lookout for that and then if you want to see the different work and things that I put into these particular titanium items that I'm going to be anodizing and trying to see what I can do with them to make them fun and interesting. That'll all be coming up on the channel as well. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not already subscribed. And if you enjoyed the uh, mail call today, do me a favor, leave a like. I'd appreciate it. I hope all of you have a fantastic day and until next time, peace.